All right, here's a quick little tutorial on how what I did to create this um, circular look here. Um, right now, I'm going to turn this layer off, and this is the layer that we're working with. Um, this is a mass of this image. This image is mass. You can see here. it's the whole image. Um, so normally, when I do that stretch out effect, what I'm doing is I'm just selecting a certain area and then stretching, copy and pasting and stretching that out. But um, for this, in order for this to work where the, the lines meet up, make a perfect circle, I have to use a different technique. And so I'm gonna go here to the toolbar, this extended toolbar options and go to single column marquee. What this does is this selects only a certain, um, only one pixel width. So you click on that, there's only one pixel selection there. Um, if you can't see it, if like you're zoomed out and you select, you won't see the marquee. That's how small it is. So you have to zoom in. Um, what I'm also going to do is uh, I only want to select this area of the image. So I'm going to select the regular rectangle marquee. Scroll up here. Hold down Option or Alt. And select that to deselect that area. Same thing over here. So now I just want to capture that image there. So make sure I'm on this layer copy and paste and so there's a little sliver there all I'm doing here is command T to transform I'm gonna size it up um, oops hold down option and shift to open this up this way so now the thing I used to make it to turn into a circle is I use a filter distort um, pull the coordinates um, but before doing that right now this is like selecting it's off of the artboard and that actually kind of would mess it up it needs to be like a perfect uh, rectangle I mean a perfect square so uh, what I'm going to do is select all copy and paste so now this it, this thing's only taking up this square area um, and also, I'm just going to hit select all. And I'm going to go back to filter, distort, pull the coordinates. And you can see here, now it's, we got that circular look. Um, so like if I wanted to um, change how big that circle in the middle is, like I could, I could bring this down here, select all, go back to that. And that's going to make it the circle in the middle wider. Um, I'm going to go back here, change it here. Select all. Move that. And drop it here. Oops. Size it up. And that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Comment below.